so for me, this is one of the examples that, you know, like I, I said earlier, how people sometimes come back and say, well, I don't care about my privacy because I have nothing to hide. And for me, that's one of these cringeworthy examples that gives you goosebumps that I think goes a long way in showing people you don't know what tomorrow holds. So this is um, back in the, yeah, in the uh, 1940s, I guess, um, when Nazi Germany was going through all of the European countries trying to track down members of the Jewish community, right? And there was this huge difference in terms of atrocities among the Jewish community as a function of whether religious affiliation was part of the census data. So you can imagine it, that there were countries where religious affiliation, you, all you had to do was to come in, go to city hall, get the records, find the like, names and address and go and find the members of the Jewish community. And there were other countries where that was not the case. Um, and the, the level of atrocities across these countries were vastly different. Certainly kind of this idea that, well, we don't know who's going to have access to these very, very intimate parts of our identity um, that we didn't think we're going to have access to just like a few months ago. And um, so there's that. And the other th thing is that now you could actually predict a lot of these things from data. 